Hi guys, as the Tories complain about extra money for train drivers to stop them from going on strike and bringing the nation to a halt, and nurses receiving pay that barely brings them up to a level to stop them from leaving the profession, which would seriously harm the NHS, they seem to be as excited as children at the idea of massive military spending. So as we've seen with the recent attack by Iran on Israel, the Israeli Iron Dome air defense system managed to knock out most of the missiles. Former Tory MP Bob Seeley thinks Britain should have one too, but there's a small problem with that. Have a listen. Well, uh, look, do we need it today? No. Uh, but do we need it in five years? Maybe. Are we going to need it in 15? Probably. So we need to get started and get working on these things now. This isn't just my idea. We've had a commitment, Martin, to a ballistic missile defence radar for 10 years, but we have done nothing about it. And we keep putting off these decisions. Germany is looking at getting an Iron Dome system. And I'll come to the specs in a sec, because Iron Dome is actually only one part of this layered, layered air defence system. But Germany is now getting one. Poland is now getting one. NATO is working together to have its skies covered. Um, and, and we have a lot of the tech here. So it is in our um, economic interest as well as in our security interest that we are part of this program that builds out effectively a, a European or a British air dome or an air shield. Bob, it sounds great in principle, but the fact of the matter is our armed forces is on its knees. We've got the smallest army since the Napoleonic times, the smallest RAF since it was formed in World War I. So few sailors, we're having to scrap ships. We can't even build HS2. Is it realistic that we've got the wherewithal, the ability or the money to build an Iron Dome? Yeah, we have actually. And we should, we should be careful about talking our country down. Uh, the armed forces are absolutely underfunded, but they still have a remarkable amount of good people and some pretty good kit. So do we need to be spending more on defence? Yes, because we live in an increasingly dangerous world and we cannot keep sort of penny pinching in the way that we've done without potentially catastrophic consequences. Um, we have a lot of the tech for these air shields. So Sky Saber, a medium range missile, could very much be part of that. In my old constituency on the Isle of Wight, we make the Royal Navy's radars in cows at the BAE site in cows. So we have some of the bits potentially of this puzzle. Um, just on the Iron Dome bit, Martin, as I'm sure some of your readers know, Iron Dome itself is the short range air defense. Mm. Above that is something called David Sling, which is medium range, a bit like the British Sky Saber. And the long range is covered in Israel by something called the Arrow Missile System. And then they have the Patriot on top of that. So all of that makes up the Israeli defense shield. And actually, I mean, if you look at what they have achieved, Thousands of missiles coming into the country this year, hardly any civilian casualties. I was in Kharkiv in uh, Ukraine three weeks ago, and that place is being hit every night by some pretty horrendous... Uh okay, okay. So let's leave Israel for a moment. Let's leave um, Ukraine for a moment. Because those examples are not really good to use because the, one of them is at war and the other is next to pretty hostile neighbours. <laughs> like he's suggesting Britain should have an Iron Dome system. Now, I'm not, again, I'm not suggesting that Britain shouldn't have some sort of missile defense system, but an Iron Dome system. Britain's neighbors are France <laughs> and Ireland. I, I don't see them going to war with France or Ireland anytime soon. But also, the, look at the geographical location, apart from the neighbors. Britain is far away from Russia, the current threat, perhaps. But... There are a whole lot of other problems with this. The UK is 11 times bigger than Israel. So if you're going to have a similar system, and it's going to be all over the, the United Kingdom, and remember, not all of the United Kingdom is in one place. Northern Ireland is on another territory, on another island. Would that be protected too? Well, if we're talking about Brexit here, it's probably not. But let's look at the cost. Each interceptor missile costs between forty and $50,000. You're going to need a lot of them if you're going to have a system that is 11 times bigger than than Israel's. You know, $50,000, that's like 10 Tory MPs. The Iron Dawn system itself costs about $100 million. That's for one system, and it's believed Israel has 10 of these systems. Now, once again, 10 systems for Israel, and the UK is 11 times bigger than Israel. Israel also has conscription. 
So it doesn't have a problem finding staff to operate these systems. Britain does not, unless Bob is suggesting conscription be brought in. So who would operate these systems? You'd need a huge number of uh, soldiers to operate each of these systems in the United Kingdom. So you know, there's a whole range of problems here. The cost, you know, at a time when the Conservatives are complaining about extra money for the NHS, for doctors, nurses, for train drivers, for infrastructure, they're constantly complaining about investing more money. But now when it comes to military spending, they want to throw billions. This would cost billions of pounds. Billions of pounds at a system that we don't even think would be necessary. Once again, Britain is not being attacked by its neighbours. It's highly unlikely that it would be attacked by its neighbours in the next 10-15 years. Is there a threat from Russia? Perhaps there is. But an Iron Dome system is not the way to deal with that. I'm not an expert by any stretch of the imagination. But copying something that Israel has because of the situation Israel is in doesn't make military sense, doesn't make economic sense. It's. I think it's these Tories who are just trigger happy or just love the idea of military spending at the cost of the rest of the economy. It's dangerous and it's a waste of money. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.